Okay, something you guys are going to have to do before we can boot into the chameleon is go into your BIOS. You can either do this in BIOS or you can go to your boot menu and go to your hard drives and boot from the USB hard drives that's in hard drive. So I'll just go into advanced features and uh, I already have it set up actually to boot from the USB hard drive first so that'll be okay there another thing you guys want to make sure that uh, you have is make sure that HPET support is enabled and HPET mode is on 64-bit mode and then you'll just hit F10 and save those and now we'll boot from our USB hard drive okay just a little side note to show you guys what I was talking about instead of going into BIOS this time I went into my boot menu which on gigabyte board should be uh, F12 for you guys um, you're not gonna go to USB hard drive down there what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to hard disk hit enter and then you'll choose your flash drive from there uh, while you're doing this, um, just to make it easier on yourself, it would be wise to only have your Chameleon USB boot drive in so you know which hard drive you're going to be picking from. Okay guys, uh, we're going to uh, try to boot into our uh, Chameleon. We may get a uh, double panic or two, but uh, just give it just a little bit of time and uh, it will uh, work. Yeah, we got one there. It's kind of about timing also, like right when you see the chameleon start loading up, you want to hit the uh, return button. go. Uh, it took the third time, but uh, we got it. And when you use the iBoot one, this is very laggy, but with the uh, Chameleon, it runs really nice and smooth as far as this part goes. And after you pick your language, the next thing you're going to do is you you go up here to Utilities, Disk Utility. And we'll pick our one terabyte line drive. GUID and we'll partition that. Okay, once that's done, you'll just close out a disk utility and we'll go to continue, agree. You'll pick your Lion Drive, customize, and uh, right now we'll just do the essential. And I'll tell you another reason why uh, Chameleon is good because when this is installing it shows it's going to take 17 minutes when you boot with Chameleon it's going to take 17 minutes when you boot with the other iBoot like I said that isn't Tony Mac's iBoot it's just a different 
I they called it iBoot. It's I think it's been around for a while. I'm not really too familiar with it, but it does work. But it will literally take like two and a half hours to install with if you boot up with iBoot. I I don't know why, uh, but it does. But when you boot with Chameleon, when it says about 16 minutes, that's about how long it'll take. Uh, so when this comes back. Uh, we'll be booting back into Snow Leopard because we're going to have to do a few things with our uh, uh, Lion hard drive once this gets done installing. So uh, once this is done, I'll uh, I'll be back. Okay guys, uh, assuming that your uh, Lion install went well, you will be now booted back into your Leopard, Snow Leopard, uh, wh wh whatever your main system is. And what we need to do now is we need to go into our Lion hard drive go to system library and extensions and we're going to install our fake SMC extension in there I'm going to stick my legacy HDA in here also Okay, and then we need to go into terminal and as we've been doing uh, this whole video we need to go back in and change the permissions of these two text Okay, after we do that, then we're going to need to go into Core Services. And you want to go and scroll down towards the bottom. And where is it? At? This platform support P list, you want to get rid of that. And what it is is it's showing the system what Mac boards are supported. So if you try to boot with that in there, it's going to fail and just tell you that it isn't supported on your motherboard. So what we'll do is we'll just move that to the trash. And now uh, we should be ready to uh, go in and uh, boot from Chameleon again but this time we're going to boot into our Lion hard drive And we got it on the first try that time. And now remember, you're not going to be able to have Lion and Snow Leopard on the same hard drive in different partitions because you got to use a different boot file for both of them. So if you do that, only one of them is going to ever boot. So you need to have a different hard drive with Lion on it and a different one with Snow Leopard. And um, you'll have to uh, go into your uh, uh, boot menu if you want to go into Lion, you'll have to go into your boot menu and boot directly to that or boot off the Chameleon uh, disk and into it. But as you can see now, we have uh, the Lion welcome screen uh, getting ready to come up here.
Okay, and then this is all going to be the same as before. Uh, once I get done filling out all my information, I'll uh, be back. Okay, guys, and I uh, I think that's going to be about it. Um, if there's anything at all that you don't understand or anything that you can't figure out, uh, don't hesitate at all. Please leave me a comment, and uh, I will try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, I hope that this helps out for you. I'll try to put things in the descriptions like uh, all the uh, command lines that, uh, that I used. And I'll, of course, have the uh, files for you guys to uh, uh, download. Uh, but until the next time, I'll uh, catch you guys on the flip side, and uh, good luck hackintoshing.